Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Capital. Going to start out today's show with an update of Regent Court. And Fred is in action. That's what I call the red monster here, the red dinosaur, in honor of Fred Flintstone and his comic or his um, cartoon that I used to watch as a kid. And he'd do the yabba dabba do and all that. But anyways, this crane reminds me of like a dinosaur. So it was in action. I was lucky here to catch it in action on this particular day. This was a Monday. This is, uh, Homerich is the name of the company in charge of the demo here of Region Court. There were some other sightseers here too. It's not often you get to see a, a building get torn down, but yeah, it has that Jaws attachment at the end. And it's moving now ever so slowly. It's backing up. And I thought, okay, just to get a better shot at the building. This guy here's kind of like sorting some stuff out. And he was going at it pretty good. Medium-sized artillery. Fred is still backing up. Got the warning siren there. This was known as the Blue Lagoon. Uh, I had a friend called it the Darth Vader building. I think of those uh, intake exhaust vents that they have on there. But uh, yeah, it was a building that Ford Motor used and that housed several, you know, a lot of office type departments and that kind of thing but uh yeah post covid no longer necessary the dynamics have changed now it's going kind of like forward motion Oh, look, a rainbow effect. Wowie kazowie. Yeah, well, they're making quite uh, decent progress on this building now. I don't know. Demo might be, I would say it's more than 50% complete at this point. And I come by usually about once a week. And get an update in fact because it's president's day here on monday and the city offices are closed i will not be able to drop off my dvd so i might be able to get an update this monday afternoon we'll s which would be uh monday today is the 19th president's day so if you got that off as a vacation or a holiday good on you i'm not sure if the kids are in school or not but the post office will be closed and the municipal workers in the city of Dearborn will have the day off. They got a water retention pond out here. All places, that's part of urban planning. When you do anything now, you got to have a certain number of parking spaces, the water retention. There's a lot of considerations that go into it. It's a four-year degree, so you better study up. Look at all this land here, though. This is Midtown Dearborn. This is just south of Ford Road. On this side of the road is Target. But yeah, look at this big property right around here. A huge chunk 
And uh, Ford Motor was putting a bunch of F-150s in the parking lot, so they were quite wary of me and, and me walking around and stuff. So I had to tread lightly. The security staff was on to me and my evil twin. That's the one they got to worry about. Uh, Boston Market, you saw that's abandoned no longer. The Walmart's still there. But, yeah, look at all those F-150s. Might be some kind of computer chip. Uh, they've done this before. They're uh, in the shadows of the region court as it gets demolished. I'm on the median of Ford Road. I kind of had to walk around. Those security people were quite militant, so I stayed away from them. But truth be told, I'm documenting the destruction of region court. But it's uh, going to be a new development around here so jot that phone number down if you want to uh the latest i had heard was an arab businessman had bought this in 34 acres and it's gonna make a, a housing development city of dearborn they have the old well the xl model has those wheels steel wheels off in the distances out but ugly tesla truck oh my gosh was that hideous Anyways, there's a walking path around here. I'm at the southeast corner of Ford Road and Southfield Freeway. You can see the planes making their approach to Detroit Metro. That's the main atrium. I want to see that when uh, Fred starts crunching into that. Off in the distance is the glass house. Ford World Headquarters. All right, so the blue dot shows where I'm at here now. Uh, the Henry there, that kind of sucked the life, I think, out of the Hyatt Regency. But that's our upscale hotel in Dearborn. I'm going to take this little walking path around. And F-150s, as far as the mile can see, until you get to the Hyatt Regency. Its last incarnation was uh, the Edward. I missed correctly called it the George. I don't know what got into me. Maybe the let George do it kind of thing, but no, it was the Edward in its last function at the junction. Now it's vacant. But I'll get there. I'm, I'm heading that way in a little bit. So Fred decided to call it a day and just parked it there. I was ready and waiting and I was here early and often to catch all the action, but yeah, I took a break. Bummer. I'm in the shadows of the washer dryer or the salt and pepper shaker. It's you, to each his own. You decide which is more aptly fits the thing, but we all have our uh, preferences. Here's my evil twin. Excuse me. I just bought a ford maverick so i'm not interested in the uh the f-150s so let that go i yeah the maverick i like it so far so good it's like a poor man's f-150 so uh here we go expect something more so triple a is uh i have road service through them but I found out the Ford Maverick has like five years of road service so I, I'm going to cancel that and save the $50 a year at least for the first five years although you do get good maps oh here we go I'm going to talk urban planning 101 I'm going to head that way I was curious about that crane but look at this piece of property right in front of me here right in front of the glass house oh my gosh this is a huge grass field here just monster size right here look at this thing you'd have to cut a few trees down if you wanted but you could keep that as parkland look at this almost for as far as the eye can see i don't know how many acres are here but this is prime time property right in midtown of dearborn and if dearborn ever wanted to do something unique and top of the line and stand out like hey this is our city they could do it here. They could put a nice amphitheater. Maybe I got to go and check out what Freedom Hill has. 
you know, I've been to Pine Knob and Meadowbrook. It doesn't have to be something as big as that. I think that's a Delta plane, but don't hold me to it. But, um, yeah, it does uh, Freedom Hill might be a good size. I think that's like Sterling Heights. I'm going to have to go out and check that again. But maybe a, like a four or 5,000 seat outdoor amphitheater. You could have concerts and stuff. Nobody's going to bitch too much because it's right by the freeway. Look, at you have like an obstacle course here. They had cones set up, and I guess you could weave through and leave tire tracks if you wanted. But while I was here, I was just in the neck of the woods. Looks like in the summertime they have fountain here, some water action and whatnot. But these are the Park Lane Towers. That's what they're officially known as. Unofficially, it's whatever you want them to be. There's a tower one. And then uh, there's a tower three. Park Lane Towers. I don't think anyone calls them that, though. It's kind of like that shopping center at Outer Drive in Southfield. They call that Fairlane Meadows or something like that. I'm not even sure now. But it, everybody calls it the hill. Yeah. Look at, you got, in the summertime, this is great. You have uh, picnic tables with the umbrellas. Got to say it right, umbrellas. And um, nice water retention pond. But it, it works good. Uh, unfortunately, it tracks the geese, and you really have to watch your step and, and watch where you walk. There's a nice little bridge that goes across here. It's, like, so picturesque. It reminds me of, like, maybe the way Monet would paint. Oh, well, thinking of all that artistic stuff, let me go through this. This is picture effects that I have on the camcorder. And, uh... There's eight special effects. This one is negative art. And I, okay, this one's sepia. It makes it look a little orangey. Then it goes to black and white. That's what we're seeing here now. Then this is solarize. This one kind of looks good. It's good with fireworks here, solarize. Mosaic pixelates things. And then you have slim and then, oh, I went back to Mosaic Slim, and then this is Stretch. Stretch is the last one on the docket. So it makes it wide, and then this makes it slim. And then I'm going to go back up Mosaic, Solarize, off in the distance, uh, a mini crane working there. Okay, black and white, which is cool. I grew up with black and white, so that's cool. I can deal with that. And then the next one will be sepia, the one that makes it look orangey. Okay, this is sepia. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with this one. But negative art inverts everything. What's black is white and what's white is black. I kind of get a bluish tint too. And this is pastel, which is kind of like Easter type effect or whatever. And then off, which is normal. So that's typically what I keep it on. But for fireworks and for demos, I like that negative art picture effect. Here's my Maverick. And that's why I'm going to take on that persona and attitude. I'm going to be a Maverick. That's what I'm going to be. All right. This was a dinner special. And then here's the salt and pepper. See, in that perfect? Reminds you of those two buildings, but look I picked up the Arab American news and you can pick this up for free in the lobby of the this uh, city administrative building Which is great because you get the Arab perspective. I have yet to try the original pepperoni roll Here's urban planning on a smaller scale here in Dearborn. They recently demolished the building I was told they're gonna run this up to the corner and make like maybe a strip mall i'm not exactly sure how that's all going to turn out but 
Uh, my parents live at Allegria Village, so I'm in the, a the neighborhood quite a bit, so I'll keep tabs on that. Gas prices spiked up a little bit, so yeah. Um, still under $3, but, you know, there are places that sell it for more. All right, well, here's the uh, Hyatt Regency update, and they had the crane going here, so I was curious what was going down. Yeah, this was uh, just later Monday afternoon, and I thought, well, great, because this building's been abandoned since 2018, and it's like, okay, they're doing some work on it, but don't get too excited. I think they were just putting, like, cell phone towers, you know, so you could ping and get a better signal with your phone, nothing like they're doing any heating and cooling work or anything like that. My evil twin just wanted to check it out because this is in the shadow of the Fairlane Town Center, which has an underutilized parking lot, big time. This kind of housing they got going uh, is a great way to go, I think, here for urban planning, but everybody can pipe in. Here are some of the workers. They're getting the next load ready for the crane uh, to take up on the roof. But yeah, there it sits vacant. Wow. Yeah, everybody can get involved on uh, urban planning with this kind of stuff. Say, hey, what does Dearborn need? What does Dearborn want? If we do it right, it affects everybody. Here's Edward. It reminded me of the Spartan helmet kind of thing. But they had a spinning restaurant up, up top. That was pretty cool when it uh, when it did its thing. Here's the glass, and they did they weren't all alike. It was kind of a different kind of shading thing. The grand ballroom there. We're gonna take a look at the the front entrance here. This car is kind of security, but it's been there for a while. Here it goes, condemned. Look at this. Six hundred Town Center Drive. This property is dangerous and unsafe occupancy is prohibited wowie kazawi this was signed off by ken december 14th of 2018 holy toledo that's like almost six years ago so no trespassing nothing like that they do have security but yeah that's looking in and on the lobby but yeah, it's a communications tower now, so ain't that grand. We got picnic tables out here. Yeah, there was security. They had two cars. They, they both chased me away. So that's good, though. Um, but I'm just curious, because, <clears throat> uh, well, truth be told, I'm more fascinated with the urban planning that's taking place in Detroit. But while I'm at it, Dearborn's closer to home. So if you want to improve the quality of life closer to you, then you got to promote what's happening in your neck of the woods. So that's the Peace Park, and that's coming along quite nicely. And I'm monitoring the sunrise and the sunset. Well, particularly the sunset today. So 601. So in a, less than a half hour, the sun will set. Here's another urban planning project for Dearborn is the Village Plaza. And that's owned uh, by some Dearborn residents, but they want to keep that kind of on the lowdown, the hush-hush. But that's just uh, a... A white elephant or a black hole or both, it's like it's not doing anything there. Okay, illumination is 10%. And uh, it's up there somewhere, but I just got to zoom in. There it is. Just a sliver. Look at that. Kind of hard to see during daylight hours, but the sun's going to set pretty soon. And it'll stand out a little bit better. 
But yeah, I'd like to keep track of the moon and what it's up to because it it does it changes quite a bit from day to day. It's amazing how much it it does its thing. So yeah, got to keep the moon honest. It's not it's not like the sun. It might the sunrise sunset might vary a minute or two here or there, but it's a slow transition. The moon can do all number of things each and every night, every day. Yeah. It's crazy. So I go to almanac.com and yeah, I keep up with the cosmos and what's happening in the universe. There's a nice plane making its approach to Metro. And it's nice to see the sun. Gosh darn. God, the whole month of December and January, I think we saw the sun maybe a combined three days total. But yeah, when the and look at this tree. That's a great shaped tree. You know, and that kind of like a ellipse kind of a thing. Okay, you're under video and audio surveillance. Even audio, wow. Good thing I left my skateboard at home. But yeah, these parking decks are kind of kind of nice. Look how artistic they are, but you can get to the very tippity point here and this is a good viewing area right here. This is about as high as you can get in this total thing. And then looking westerly, you can see real good, you know, all the way to the horizon. You don't really have anything blocking your view. A few trees on the horizon. Nice lamp post. Yeah, watching up here for the full moon would, is, is, is really nice. And these parking decks are free. You can't beat that. At one time, they tried to charge money. And that did not go over well. And so they put their thinking caps on and said, no, we're going to let this be free. And so... It was so it was written or so it was said then it was written and, and then it has been done free parking that is just awesome because paying for parking is like against my religion I kid you not about it I'll drive a country mile before I pay for parking anyways yeah the the Sun has set it's below the horizon I kind of missed it uh, when it was doing its thing, it kind of goes fast, but uh, yeah, you do get a good view. Sacred Heart Church down yonder. Yeah, that's the 10% moon. Yep, I'm loving it. See, and then it disappears as you pull back. It was great. We had clear skies. And then you get the orangey colors, which is always kind of kind of neat. Mother Nature's palette. All right, that's facing westbound. This is just later on, and the moon will pop out certainly brighter as the the sky gets darker. And then the camcorder even having a little trouble focusing in on this. But if I back it up a little bit and then come back in. But yeah, there it is as it was. You can follow it around the whole round thing and just make the silhouette kind of thing. And so there's people, yeah. All you have to do is look at the moon. And, and you know, the people that are these flat earthers, they think the, the world is flat. I don't know how they come up with that. But all you have to do is, like, look up in the sky. The moon is a good example. Uh, you can see where the moon is round. But maybe some people think it's like coin shaped. It's like a spinning coin or whatever. But I don't know. Yeah, people have the tendency to believe weird stuff. But to each their own, I guess. But 
sometimes you just have to point out science to them and and hope for the best but some people just don't want to know so what can you do oh that was like a, a blue light thing i'm gonna i got a blue light in honor of the lions okay well busy calendar this week the 13th was mardi gras well my niece uh's birthday four year birth b- birthday and then um my uh, parents have their had their 66th wedding anniversary on the 15th, and then Valentine's Ash Wednesday was on the. Yeah, well, that was a family calendar. Yeah, I should have explained it all more. Spent a little more time on the calendar for the month of February. All right, six dollars general admission. Buy now. I decided to buy now because I got burned one time. I missed a football game because I didn't order my ticket, and they were sold out. So you go to MHSAA.com. is the great site for all the sports. Football is great, but now I wanted to check out boys' basketball. And they had the rankings here. And lo and behold, in Division One, Dearborn is number eight. And at the time I bought my ticket here, they were they had a record eighteen and zero, but they had a tough game against the Belleville Tigers on Friday the sixteenth at seven p.m. The Pioneers had to travel on the road, so yeah, let's look at their schedule here. I couldn't believe this; their record is eighteen and zero, and. Uh, Typically, I'm not like a Pioneer fan because I went to Etzel Ford High School and Dearborn was our arch rival. And, um, yeah, but as I have gotten older, it's okay, I guess. I've softened up a little bit. Uh, But I'm going to go see the game, uh, the way game against Belleville. So they won uh, the next game. So they were 19-0 when I saw them. But here, look at the conference standings. They're... 11-0 Eleven and zero in conference. Belleville is ten and one. So if somebody's going to knock off the Pioneers, there's a good chance the Belleville Tigers might be able to do it, especially at home. Then there was some question about what a jihad is. So jihad is an Arabic word which literally means striving or struggling. But then it goes on. Because they were talking about Dearborn being the jihad capital of the world. So I had to do a little research. And, ooh, evil inclinations. Holy Toledo, what's this all about? But I wanted to see so I could be educated on exactly what what is going down. So the more you know, the better off you are. You don't really want to be ignorant. So, yeah, but you can get a lot of information online, but then you also have to be careful where you get it, too. All right, Hamtramck. I'm like, this is a great little city surrounded by Detroit and a little bit of Highland Park there, but this is a fun place to be. And this is Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras, as some people like to call it if you're French. Or they do it in New Orleans, too. But in Hamtramck, boy, they have a party. So from years past, I understood this. I was well prepared. Except I I went over and visited the parents, and I kind of got a late start. And I'll have to remember for later years, it's kind of a a day thing. You know, once things hit around 6 o'clock, you're pretty much done for the day. So... Anyways, Joseph Campo and Florian Street, that's where that big Catholic church is. Oh, there's Marty's brother. He's got a, I like those polar bears, but here you can get furniture. There's some elephants. You can get a crocodile or an alligator. I I never know the difference between the two. I know one's fresh water and one's brackish water, but. All right, the Polish culture 
So they have nice decorative plates. They have like a nice museum here. But I think it was getting close to closing time or I just missed it. So the Polish people have a lot of culture. They got a pierogi maker here. Pierogi love. A little pierogi. And again, some of these look uh, decorative china wear and stuff. Mama. And Tata. And magic mushrooms. They may have still been open, but yeah, I I was on a mission. I wanted to um, Punchki Day. That was the idea, too. I was going to pick up at least four of them. One for me, two for my parents, and like one in reserve. Uh, but Punchki Headquarters. So this was 3 a.m. in the morning. They started till question mark. So we will find out how late they stay open. All right, they have a box, a combo box. Maybe they have those pre-made. Uh, but it looks like the boxes will cost you, for, well. Well, they're pricey, but they're lined up out the door here. The New Palace Bakery. Mm -mm. So this is the way it was on Fat Tuesday, just after 5.30. They were lined up around the corner. And that's another thing that's against my religion, standing in line. I'll do everything possible to avoid standing in line. So I skipped the line there and decided I was going to walk around a little bit. And there's a couple of nice Polish restaurants here on Yemen Street. Not the country, Yemen. This is spelled differently, Y-E-M-A-N-S. They got a mural up here. This one's neat because the restaurant is down below. And a polka dot is just like a regular dot except it's Polish. At least that's what they told me. So they got a restaurant called the Polka Dot just down the street. And this was the menu, but I think the menu was both served here and down the street. So reasonably priced food, and it's kind of like stick to your ribs type food. It's comfort food or makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And then usually you feel like you got a good bang for your buck, like you you got enough to fill you up, which is great. Sometimes you can even take le leftovers. All right, the Hamtramck blowout, March 1st and 2nd. Mark your calendar. It used to be called the Metro Times blowout. Now it's the Hamtramck blowout. And look at all the participating uh, bars, and some of them are restaurants too. But HamtramckBlowout.com. And if you're real quick with your phone, you can pick up that QR code. And maybe it'll tell you everything. But you're supposed to be able to buy, like, wristbands beforehand. I'm just going to go to the lower level and just take a peek here. But it was like there was a standing room only kind of thing here. They, they were set up for Valentine's, so all the red type thing. But, yeah. It's a good place for a meal, but yeah, get there early and often so you don't have to stand in line. Here's a place, Susie's, and well, what's not to like? They apparently like peace, and we have to figure out something with this Gaza thing. Certainly, a, a, a ceasefire is in order. Uh, you can get one of these, um, it's like a punchki jello shot or they put a punchki donut and then they pour like sauce over it. oh these guys i remember these when i was a kid those are the type of lawyers you're looking for oh my lord crazy stuff yeah lawyers are a big thing in the detroit area if you watch the local news you'll see we got a good half dozen to a dozen of these lawyers that Anything that ails you, just call them up and win, win, win. All right, well, 
here was something. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like a bunch of bras over the fence railing. And boy, I would have loved to been around when all that went down, but it was not to be. That happened in the past. So I'm sure there's a story behind each each one of those, but yeah, I'd love to hear it or be present when it all goes down. You know what I'm saying? But inside, this is a fun kind of place. Uh, and, and they're having a good time here on Fan Tuesday. There's no doubt about it. And they have all number of games here that you can do if you want. But it was a fun place. They had a good crowd. But while I was in here checking things out, I was actually missing all the band action over at, uh, uh, what's the name of the place now? It'll come to me. I'm going to be there in a little bit, but the uh, Polish Muslims perform there. They're great. Stay groovy. Okay, so here's a, a bakery update. They got a nice neon uh, sign out front, but yeah, the line is still there. Whiskey by the Jar, that's the name of it. I'm thinking of the Rattalope thing. Okay, Yemen Street. This is like downtown Hamtramck right here. So... Um, yeah, whiskey in the jar, or whiskey in the jar, and they got a rattalope there, a local order of rattalope. That's a cross between a rat and an antelope, or a cantaloupe, one of those. Um, this is an interesting place, but I was told the music stopped like around 5.15, the Polish Muslims were the headline act, and they are absolutely hilarious. They mix, uh, like, polka songs with the modern pop songs. <coughs> yeah, they, they mix music uh, and, and kind of make it funny and humorous, so it's got... Um, well, it, it's it's a fun flair to it. Seven dollar cans. So happy Punchki Day. Dewey Lake Monster. Oh, it looks like Bigfoot. But uh, wow, they have a lot of uh, stickers, which is neat. I like people that have stickers. Uh, Detroit Derby Girls, if you're into roller derby, they have a lot of fun. They were out at the Masonic. And then for the, then there's a Polish, a rattalope there, but apparently doesn't like people or not people friendly. But then walking down the street, they're like narrow streets. Uh, here's the building. I'm not sure what it is, but interesting shape. But then here's... A building that's like part of the neighborhood, but it's got a sign that makes it look like, hmm, what's going on here? I like the steps, though. And as luck would have it, yes, they are open. 2363, and it's a polka dot. And then there's something in Polish written there, and I don't know what that stands for. I think drink a lot or drink a lot and have fun. I don't know. Somebody knew... Look at the tin roof, the, the tin ceiling. This used to be, they, they said it's been kind of like a bar restaurant for a couple years, I guess. Before this, or before COVID or whatever, it was like a punk rock kind of a bar. Here, look at their artistic now. They got the fresh fruit and stuff like that. That's like museum quality picture right there. But I think that they're going to be part of the uh, Hamtramck blowout. They're one of the venues. So I've got my fingers crossed, but I want, I'll want i do like Arnold says, I'll be back. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of venues. Maybe I'll make it back to the polka dot, or I won't. But 
Yeah. Oh, sorry, we're closed. I was giving them a little more time, waiting for the line to go down. I waited, look, 7.20, and they call it quits. They lock the doors. That's it. No punch keys for me. Damn. Got shut out. All right, Showtime. They used to be located on Woodward Avenue, Main Street, Detroit. And they've been around since 1989. But if you're into, like, dressing up for a rock show, if you're, like, a singer or a performer, you have those one-off type costumes and or the look and the boots and the the bling bling or what do they call that the the extra stuff the accessories sunglasses you could get it all here but they were closed so i guess it's only friday and saturday yeah look here friday and saturday 11 to 8 so you got 18 hours every week and that's it but yeah it looks like a fun place i'd like to uh yeah welcome showtime clothing so if you're a show off this is your place yes indeedy and fashion is a big part of hamtramck it's interesting there's a lot of stores that cater to uh to fashion Some like low end, medium, and maybe high end or whatever. It depends what your style is, but you can go with the flow. Here's like a fish eating a fish, another fish kind of thing, but that's how they do it here at Port Bar. I like the front entrance here, the storefront. And it looks like maybe sewing or something they got in there. Or no, that might have been like a small juice bar. But there's an international flavor. Uh, Hamtramck was heavily Polish for a while. Now it gets a lot of immigrants and a lot of them are from uh, the Middle East area. Uh, Pakistan also... Um, I don't know what it is. There's a ton of nationalities in uh, Hamtramck, and they speak a ton of different languages. Oh, this place is definitely going to get my seal of approval. I've never been to this place before, but this black salt or whatever, I think it's healthy for you. All right, well, let's look at that almanac.com. So Hamtramck, on this day, the moon's going to be 18%. And so they had a poster. I want to get me one of these. So here, February, for the different months, and I'll tell you the different moon phases, which is great. So a full moon is is a circle, but black inside. Uh, not getting a good... Yeah, I was, okay, here's February 13th. That's what it would look like. But that they don't have the, the moon looking like, it's got to look like a sliver unless it's a half moon. But interesting decor in this place, an interesting crowd. They had good lighting. I would imagine I could probably just Google moon calendars on my on the internet and I could find one of those calendars which would be great here is where you get health effects here I think you get there and you get good vibes or sun rays or light rays and it just yeah it's all good <laughs> This church is the bomb. And then when they have, oh, their clock is a little fast, though. Um, but we're not far off. Maybe I'm going to have to check my clock. I think mine's, well, that's just the way it was. 
but they have a great strawberry festival here in the springtime. So officially, St. Florian Church was founded in 1907. And just speed read through here. Uh, the church's medieval style contrasted with the modern industrial community. In 1929, American Architect Magazine named it the best new church in America. We'll put a feather in your hat for that one. The best. Yes, indeedy. It is nice in there for sure. So it wasn't uh, open at this time of night. Trust me, I tried. My evil twin wanted to confess. But yeah. Nope. Locked out. I'll have to say I'm sorry some other time. All right. Well, well I can say to you, if, if somewhere along the way I've done something wrong to you, I'm sorry. But hopefully you can get over it. And then the next chance I get to go in church, I'll bend the pastor's ear because it'll take a while. Maybe a pack of Snicker bars will do it. All right, 34 degrees, not too bad. Uh, Katab Cafe and Bookstore. And then Kowalski Company. Yeah, this is one of their official trucks. Meet the family. Well, that's pretty clever what they, you see what they did there? A play on words, but there's Steve, Ronald, Michael, Linda and Agnes and oh gosh, Zygmunt. So I'm not if that if that's in order of firstborn to lastborn how that goes. But yeah, happy Punchki Day. This is at Kelly's Bar, and I think this is part of the a bar is part of that uh, Hamtramck blowout. I do believe. And then a nice coffee club. Uh, since 1923, wow, we. But proud to be American. There was some talk years ago that they might move the sausage making plant out of Hamtramck, and it's like, oh, the horror of it all. The community rose up and said, "No way, Jose." Or wait, and that's Mexican. How would you say it in Polish? But they said, "No, you're not going to stick a fork in it or whatever." Although this is a great neon sign. Look at this fork. Right through the Kowalski sausage. And it e even tied down at the end at the bottom. But yeah, this is a fun, fun place. I don't know if they have tours in there or not. Now, Kelly's Bar, they have a smash mouth burger that's really tasty. And I thought, hey, I'm ready. I'm going to have dinner and grab me one of these things, but they weren't open. Uh, they have bumper stickers in this place here, too. And it's a little bit like a red light district. So if you have your sticker, you can put it where I'm going to have to find a good place. WTF, what does that stand for? Still trying to figure that one out. Here's a DJ, though. And it's, it's also a bar. Okay, that one's queued up. Yep. All right. What's playing now? That's what's playing now. Never heard it before. Great, from the 90s. From the 90s? Yeah, 94, I think so. I'm not really up on the music scene as far as albums and all that kind of stuff, but I do appreciate good music, and so it's nice when somebody's spinning the records. A lot of scribble on this door. All right, I think I put... There it is. I knew I put it somewhere. This is officially approved, but it stands out by itself here just a little bit to the, to the right. 
Motor Capital. The website is det.com. All right. <laughs> wanted to get that pool table in focus. That's a prominent part of the bar. Always getting some action. Dust? Yeah, from Wisconsin. Okay, the bottle feature is $4. And that's where you get cash. Here's the lay of the land for the pool game. Oops. Well. That's the way it was. They were doing a little pool hustling there. God, there were flurries of flying here. Wow, we. It's picturesque okay so unlock it and the website in the water winter wonderland is det.com gonna hop into the maverick it's right where i left it but it's got global positioning on it now too so if anybody steals my truck i can get my phone out and I can find out where you hauled it off to then I'll bring the police along with me and say no 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 I want my truck back I want my maverick back so don't even think about it all right get close enough oh, I got to get really close there it goes it's like a neon sign that lights up. This was great. Now, the Dirty Show is over and done with, the 24th edition. But by all accounts, another great success story. I went on opening night, February 9th. I didn't buy any artwork this time. I'm real happy with the Dirty Show logo that I got there. Very nice. All right, the 14th is Valentine's Day. And Ash Wednesday. That's unusual. Now, Marty, he had a party the day before, but he's recuperating here on Ash Wednesday. All right. This is a Dearborn bakery, Bart's Bakery, and I was... I wanted to get some punchkis, and you would think coming on a Wednesday they'd be sold out, but no, it was great. In a pinch, I was able to get my punchki delights there. Here's the logo for the city of Dearborn Heights, and it's different than what we have on our trash cans. I think I'll show that a little bit later. But if you wanted to, you could mail your taxes here or put it in a night deposit, either the one in the building or this one. Or you can go inside and pay for it and get the, the receipt Im immediately. And then the official ballot drop box is there. So this is nice. This is on the north end of Dearborn Heights. The Carolyn Kennedy Library is a stone's throw away from St City Hall. All right, I still got gas for under three bucks a gallon. And this is on Telegraph Road. I think it's Powers. They're proud to be American. But yeah, that that's what 40 bucks will get me. It still didn't top off the gallon. I'm gonna have to find out what the total capacity of the fuel tank is. All right, here's my go-to grocery store. Aldi. Get all sorts of good stuff there. So here's some moon action again, too, but the camcorder, when the moon starts getting bigger like that, it's harder for it to uh, to pick it up. It, it doesn't focus in as well, but you can kind of get an idea there. There's a big star or whatever to the left of it. That was pretty bright. 
All right, the sun is set. Okay, yeah, here's the logo that I have on the trash cans. I get a kick out of this because the lady of the household here, she's got a figure to die for. Either that or she takes, what is it, Ozempic? But yeah, she had that, what is it, 36, 32, 36 is officially kind of, I don't know, the, uh, the best one. 3624. Well, anyways, here illumination 27%. All right, let's see, I got about five more minutes to round this out. Yeah, and well, we'll get some crazy weather sometimes. Here it's it snow flurries in the morning, and they called for this. The weather forecasters were great, and uh, sure enough, shadow show. That's a good. That's, they're like the White Supremes. Uh, they're from Detroit, and they got a lot of high energy there. But yeah, this is my kitchen, and I have every intention of painting it after I pass away. But until then, it is what it is. All right, here's Marty, you know, dealing with the snow a little bit, but he, he watches over the place, keeps guard. He's got that magical camera eye. Here's a nicely uh, shaped tree here. This is like perfect. Yep, and I got the bird food in there. So they're good to go. They don't like feeding so much when it snows outside. I've noticed that. But yeah, this was very peaceful, serene looking. Oh yeah, definitely the winter wonderland. Gotta love it. Fantasy. All right, just down the street from my house is Daly Park and a good stand of really mature trees through here. Nice tall trees. It's a nice park, and it's used quite a bit in the summertime. Here, oh, this is a great deal. Uh, at Aldi, they have this. Now they got one with beef stew with vegetables. It was only $7.99. So 42 ounces. I add an extra couple of carrots in there, or um, um, Onions, oh, by the time I'm all said and done, I beef it out a little bit more. But for $7.99, you can't beat it. All right, well, here's Marty again. He, 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 does, he does really good at keeping an eye out on things, but he's going to love this because he's a Lions fan to beat all, and so am I. So this is going to be like a blue light special. Vivid color adds ambiance, and Marty is all about ambiance so he likes keeping an eye on the birds i gotta fill up the bird feeder but yeah it was a little tricky uh to get the uh the top off here but i was able to do that eventually and then flip the switch look at that so this is like a lion's household kind of thing definitely so i'm ready for the, when they start playing again later in the year Blue light special means I'm rooting for the Lions. I am on the bandwagon, big time. And I put the red bulb back in my studio here. So I got a red light district inside and a blue light district on the outside. All right, well, earlier in this show, I, I ended up buying tickets online using the GoFan app for the game where the Dearborn Pioneers are traveling to meet the Belleville Tigers. So this is, uh, I was thinking of getting something to eat here. This was, I came in here just to get the view kind of thing, but they're into the seafood. So they got all number here, the, the dinner specials. But I'm getting near the top of the hour. So the, this will be the Motor Capital show, but I have another show that's on public access called Local Yoko. That show will have the basketball game and all the highlights, and I'm not even going to let on as to who won the game or not. You're going to have to watch the show to find out. 
But, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week or weekend, whatever the case may be, and good night.